Well, since it's the spooky season, I thought I would review a game called Chiller for the NES. This game is 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 very different. There's a lot of stuff in this game that I'm surprised got past Nintendo's uh, policies and stuff for nudity and gore and violence and all that back in the day. So Chiller was developed by a company called Exidy and ported to the NES in 1990. This is one of those light gun games that you could play, but if you didn't have a light gun, you could still use the standard NES controller. I feel like this game does have a place in gaming history just because of the boundaries that it pushed way back then. Now this type of stuff is common in games, but back then it wasn't. As for the graphics, eh, they're surprisingly graphic, especially given the system's hardware limitations. The pixel art features scenes of torture chambers and haunted environments where players can shoot both monsters and human captives. While the game's atmosphere is effective in creating a chilling vibe, the crude depictions of gore and suffering feel more like explorative rather than horrifying. And for it being a light gun game, I feel like the graphics are pretty bad. Games like Duck Hunt are a lot better in my opinion. They're just really clunky and poorly rendered. The core gameplay involves shooting at various targets in a series of violent settings using the NES Zapper. Unlike traditional light gun games that focus on shooting enemies or objects, Chiller encourages players to shoot humans trapped in torture devices. This mechanic is not only controversial, but feels morally questionable. And it doesn't provide much in the way of challenge or depth. The hit detection is super inconsistent, leading to frustrating moments where shots that should land just don't register. Additionally, the game lacks the smooth pacing that makes light gun games fun and engaging. Instead, it feels sluggish and repetitive, with little variation between stages. There's no real progression system either, meaning once you've played through a couple of levels, you essentially seen all the game has to offer. There's only a few levels in this game to begin with. The sound design in Chiller is pretty basic also. The eerie background music does little to enhance the atmosphere. And the sound effects, such as the screams of the victims, are grating and repetitive. Compared to other NES titles, the audio just feels lazy and half-baked, further detracting from the overall experience. What makes Chiller most memorable is not its gameplay, but its notoriety. The extreme violence and disturbing subject matter raised eyebrows back in the day when it was released. And to this day, it remains one of the most controversial games to appear on the NES. The reputation has made it something of a collector's item. I honestly wouldn't recommend this game. As for my final thoughts, I feel like Chiller might intrigue some collectors and fans of obscure NES games due to its infamous reputation. Its shallow and boring gameplay, poor graphics, and unpolished mechanics make it a far cry from the system's best titles. Unless you're a diehard fan of light gun games or just the horror genre, Chiller is more of a historical footnote than a must-play experience. I'd only give this game, I don't know, like a 2 out of 10. But I wanted to give a special shout out to my buddy Ron Man. I don't do many reviews on this channel, but I thought I would do this one because he mentioned it to me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and uh, if it is awesome, let me know, and I'll do more like this in the future. So anyways, happy Halloween, and like I say at the end of every video... We all can't help everybody, but everybody can help somebody. Peace out, y'all. Take it easy.